Hey there friends and followers and welcome back. Steve here with EXP Realty. In today's video segment, I am very excited to announce uh, we have another local business spotlight. Uh, that local business in particular today is Captain Caliente. So uh, stick around for the next few minutes as we'll roll through and shed some light on this great local business together. There, my friends. So yes, uh, thanks for tuning in, checking out the videos. As mentioned, local business spotlight. Now the idea behind this video is just to get the word out and uh, expose some of these great local businesses here in the Ocala, Marion County area. Today's business in particular is Captain Caliente. Now if you're unfamiliar with Captain Caliente, it is a line of locally owned, sourced, and distributed hot sauce and rubs right here in the Ocala area. The thing that makes Captain Caliente extra special is that all peppers grown for these hot sauces are hydroponically grown right here in the area and they're free of any pesticides or fungicides. Uh, now keep in mind, each sauce is made uh, with a blend of all natural ingredients and is made with a specific purpose in mind. Uh, if you're looking for a mild or tame sauce, then uh, my friends, continue your search onward as the captain actually believes it to be a mortal sin to make mild tame sauces. Uh, I actually had the pleasure of going out and meeting the captain personally, along with his right hand, little Pepe, uh, tour their grow garden and just get a little bit of perspective upon what it means to them being local business owners here in the Ocala area and where they look to see themselves in the years down the road. So uh, my friends, if this is your kind of thing, uh, be sure to hit the follow button, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, nonetheless, let's get in and check out Captain Caliente. All right, my friends, now you can see here behind me uh, the greenhouse that uh, uh, contains all of the pepper plants here for the Captain Caliente operation. Now the super peppers are actually grown in this aquaponic garden through a natural process that uses fish poop as fertilizer and continuously recirculates uh, the water 24-7. Uh, let's get in and uh, take a brief uh, tour of the uh, operation with uh, the captain and little Pepe. Uh, welcome to the Easy Ponics Garden. This is uh, just a magical place. We like to come out here all the time and just frolic in the garden uh, many times instead of uh, <laughs> Instead of pest control, we use our fingers to get the stink bugs, but uh, we do use ladybugs and green lace wings and predatory mites to eat all of the aphids and uh, uh, spider mites and different things that can impact plants and infect them. We've had some outbreaks, but we've controlled it all with natural predators. So this is a fungicide, pesticide-free garden. It is the future of agriculture, I believe, uh, just because of the water conservation aspects of it. But I'll give you a rundown of how it works. I've grown so many different types of, uh, of plants in this garden, um, from tomatoes to okra to sweet peppers, whatever, but um, we've really settled on hot peppers because they do so well. Now we're in a dead winter, okay? So the plants are definitely looking a little rough right now, but uh, we are still getting peppers and we'll continue to get peppers. I mean, I thank God for sunny Florida, but the way it works is there's a thousand gallon fish tank over there and the fish tank, you can, you know, some people make smaller systems, some, and obviously there's some large commercial systems. But we have about 100, 120 tilapia in there. We feed them, they poop, and then the, the water runs uh, gravity fed down from the uh, fish tank down to these pipes here. Um, and then it flows up into the garden because water finds its level. Well, in here, we've got some snails, which uh, was not necessarily the plan, but it's worked out nice. We put red wiggler worms in the rocks because they eat all the fish poop solids and they wrap around the roots and add vermiculture. Um, and then <clears throat> we've got an automated bell siphon. Um, not electric, it's all gravity. So this one, um, the water fills to a certain level in here and then it kicks off and sucks the water down. Um, and then it, it, it goes down through these pipes and we run it back to a reservoir. Well, by the time it gets to the reservoir, it is filtered because the rocks and the worms and everything involved here, and we pump that back up to the fish tank. So it's really a, an amazing eco-friendly uh, way to grow food. Not everything's gonna grow in aquaponics. However, um, there are a, a multitude of things that can grow. And one of them, lucky for us, is hot, hot peppers! Because we love hot peppers and we love hot sauce, and that is what we do. So as you can see, this is where the return is. Uh, after the water's run through the beds, it's filtered, it comes into here, and then we just pump that. This is the only electricity the system uses, is this uh, pump down here. We pump it back up into the fish tank, and what I did is I built a little return on the 
on the uh, pump so that I can control how much force of uh, water is going to the grow beds. This helps, it's another mechanism. That way the pump, you know, some people are worried about, oh, is my pump gonna pump too much or too little? That way you can get a bigger pump and you just uh, control it with that little flow right there and that just returns water back into the system. Um, and then I can control exactly how much water is going into the fish tank. All right there, my friends. So yes, I am here with the captain and little Pepe. Uh, just going to answer a few questions in relation to the Captain Caliente business end of things. So my friends, uh, tell us a little bit about your business and what we can expect from Captain Caliente. Well, uh, the main thing, I, I think one of the most exciting selling points about what we do is this. It's, it's, it's quite magical. We grow the peppers fungicide, pesticide free, and also um, the nutrient level of a pepper is, you know, depending on how much nutrients are going in, the, the pepper is going to get more flavor. So. Uh, what I always tell people is that the flavor of a pepper is just as intense as the heat. You just got to get to that flavor. So all of our recipes are built towards that. So I, I think that that is, uh, and that's why the sauces sell so well. But we're expanding our line. We're doing spicy sausages. We've teamed up with Florida Fresh Meat, Whoa. Florida Fresh Meat Company. Um, so we're doing like Italian sausages, yeah. but with our seasonings, and that's, that's a whole. Awesome. Awesome. We have yeah. an entire line of sausages. Lamb, chicken, beef, pork. pork. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. So, and, and, and those are currently available. Oh, okay. So it yeah. is available Absolutely. at the farm market. At the farm market. Yes. Right. Gotta, gotcha. Because I mean, we're not shipping those. Yeah. And then as far as uh, where we're going in the future, we're just going to continue to expand. Um, we we've, we've rebranded our logo. We've got uh, hats and we've got T-shirts, and um, we are looking at a spicy mustard. We're going to be doing more sauces. We've got a, a, a beautiful. Um, lemon fresh squeezed lemon ginger sauce that we're, we're putting together um we're also going to be in the spring introducing a spicy brown mustard um a, a nice reaper sauce uh, we haven't mm. finalized the recipes on that but but we're leaning towards a fruit base maybe a peach and a reaper sauce so we're going to keep expanding until we own the entire hot pepper yes. business we okay. want it all yeah so big things are on the horizon <laughs> yeah and we we have a lot of ambitions uh, a lot of plans a lot of things on paper and um with the right, uh, either number one right investor, or uh, we could take over the we can we could take over the entire hot pepper business. But um, yeah. but apart from that, um, we can certainly see multiple farms um, becoming a very large supplier of hot peppers to other hot sauce companies. Okay. Because because we can grow them so fast and abundantly and for so long part of the year. So you know, there's a lot of stuff that, that can happen, that can shake out. But for now, we're just focused on expanding our line, promoting our brand, and, and getting, you know, we're looking at uh, spicy pickles and different kinds of condiments in the future. So yeah, we're, we're very excited about all the different products we can do with just hot peppers. Awesome. Yeah. And, and the, love, the love of heat infused with food is pretty much our main driving force. Like we yes. truly enjoy, we use, it's like I always, I always go back to the, the hair club for, for men. It's like, not only am I the president, but I'm also a client. Like, we truly eat and live off the stuff every single day. And, um, and a fun fact is um, hot peppers are an actual superfood. People don't realize this. Ah, that's right, yeah. But they yeah. can, they can, uh, uh, they attack free radicals, the, the capsicum uh, attacks free radicals in your system. It increases blood flow. It, it uh, helps with cholesterol levels. They reduce ulcers as well. <clears throat> yeah. Most people think that they induce it. They actually reduce it. Yeah. So, wow. so fresh chili peppers. Yeah, are, fresh are, chili peppers. Um, the thing that hits the ulcers is the uh, acid from the uh, from the vinegar and stuff that's in the hot sauce. But um, the fresh chili peppers are really good for you. Work and, for and it. And our peppers, yeah. we pick them one day. They're in a bottle the next. I mean, it's like the freshest kind of hot, pe yeah. hot pepper flavor you're gonna get it's a glorious in a hot thing. sauce. Farm, yeah. farm, to, farm the bottle. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Now, are you guys from Ocala originally, or? Well, I've been disguising my accent. I ain't from it. No, I'm from Vegas, and I'm from Chicago. Okay. And here we are in the middle of yeah. a 1,300 person community. <laughs> yeah. So, so how'd you guys yeah. end up in Ocala? Like, what? I, the, well, the real, the real, well, how, how, how I ended up in Cala, in Ocala was I just came down to fish and golf and then found myself uh, just fond of it, part of it. I mean, I, I met a group of friends that kind of uh, welcomed me instantly. That was their mistake. <laughs> but um, that's it ever since. Yeah, ever since. <laughs> <laughs> but then, you know, and that's it. That's just a beautiful community, beautiful area. 
And I just decided that it was the place to stay. Well, no fist to my peeps back in Vegas, but uh, I got tired of the Vegas scene. Uh, I had just had a baby girl, and um, my wife and I at the time, we, we decided that we wanted to get out of the hustle and bustle of Vegas and escape, and we had an opportunity to come here um, through a mutual friend and check it out and really just it was charming in ocala and of course who doesn't want to live in florida right amen and um you know then of course i got i became a river rat got a, a pontoon and i got my pontoon my truck and my dog in the same week so i was almost an instant yeah. redneck <laughs> you, you went from a convertible to yeah to a truck trail truck trailer and, and dog yeah <laughs> there's started, a country song in that <laughs> absolutely <laughs> but i'm still not drinking beer from cans still uh love fell in love with the the rivers and the springs and and it just ended up becoming a, a real big part of of who i am and who i want to be how i wanted to raise my my kids and then um i just it just kept getting deeper and deeper i want then i wanted some land I was like, I'm going to go buy it. So here we are. We're out here on this little yeah. property and, and, and involved in this crazy the, process. The, of the, the, the story behind the story of how we actually met can only be told off camera. But, um, and only to a select few. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> invol- it involves a direction and an object. <laughs> That's all I can say about it <laughs> publicly. <laughs> what uh, what would you guys say is an advantage of being a uh, local business owner here in the Ocala area? I think what what helps us is the following. You know, in anything, in any startup or development, you know, word of, like word of mouth and the, the people who you who, who know you best start to support it and help build it. I think that foundation and that support is what motivated us to continue going further and further. Well, I I agree. I mean, I. In my life, I have done a lot of stuff. I've traveled the world. I've imported. Uh, I was a, an importer of um, um, ancient African art, and I, I, I've traveled to, all over the, the world and to, to different countries. I've met so many great people. But one thing here in Ocala is, oh, man, we met the best. We got the yeah, best we got we're, we're lucky in that aspect. So yeah, with Ocala growing as much as it is, uh, where do you guys see Ocala in the next five years? The exciting aspect, I feel, is that as it grows and develops more economic opportunities and and gets that, you know, uh, city elegance, I, I think the identity of that small time charm will still manifest itself and you'll have a little bit of both, you'll have the best of both worlds. Well, I mean, you're talking about the small town charm. I mean, I'm going to miss that. There's no question. When I first moved here like 20 years ago, the... Uh, the town was just quaint and amazing. And I know it's gone through some transformations before. I mean, there was the Silver Springs, which was a huge attraction. A lot of people would come to Disney World and go there. So so the Acala has always been kind of part of the mainstream in, in a sense. And mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> But the small town charm is really appealing. So as it, as it grows, and of course, the, the growth is awesome too because you're going to get new restaurants. And I love to eat. Yes. I'm a big fat man. <laughs> and so... <clears throat> So hopefully there'll be a spicy restaurant. Yes, maybe um, that's where we could come. That's where that's where we're going. Everything's hot. Everything's hot. Yeah. But uh, but honestly, um, I, I think the town has grown well, and um, the, the people are, are drawn to the area for for that reason. The, the, the charm, the small town feel. I mean, we've got an adorable little downtown area, and that's growing and changing. So I, I see the the town continuing to expand and grow. I don't think there's any reason why it's going to stop. Yeah. At all. I mean, even our little farm market downtown. Uh, there is, we don't do that one anymore, but uh, but that farm market downtown is expanding too. So it's come up quite a it's bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, with that being said, um, where do you and you kind of already answered this already, but where do you hope to see uh, Captain Caliente as a business in the next five years? So many dreams. So, so many, many dreams. dreams. I would. I. I. We. We. Um, no, would, speak for yourself. Fine, I'll speak for myself. Um, I got my own ideas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't even collaborate on this yeah, stuff. We're just, we just like, hey, I know by, the way, we're, by the way, we're doing this today. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, pepper production. I would love to see a vast amount of these particular gardens. And then um, people start, come, businesses start coming out for Captain Caliente brand peppers. I think that would be a nice. Yeah. Lots uh, of acreage, lots of uh, uh, aquaponics farms. But I'll tell you one thing that I've always been. We did it for a little bit. We opened up a little pop-up restaurant, 
and we were cooking that's how we met super super okay spicy yeah. we would cook spicy meals right i mean you, did you have any of our, our our meals and we were over at infinite i know you that's where you got the sauces from i don't think i actually tried any of the meal but yeah i scooped up that hot sauce just because <laughs> right. it's so dang good yeah. so we were taking our fresh chili peppers and we were we were doing stir fries and these beautiful commercial walks outdoors and it was fun but I thought, how cool would it be to have a restaurant where every single dish is hot? There's no mild. People yeah. can't come into your restaurant. It's, yeah. a, it's a specialty restaurant. But, I mean, I guess we have to be, like, wealthy at that point and just kind of it'd be play money. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're going to open up this restaurant, and I don't care if you like mild or not. But uh, that would be fun. Um, but we have a lot of dreams like that, you know, of directions we can go. But we do have a lot of fun little uh, projects along the way that are obtain obtainable now that we're going to be working on. We're, we're talking about uh, a book that we're putting together. Um, so so there's there's so much stuff that we've talked about, and we just keep one step in front of the other. More sauces, more products, more condiments. And, uh, way to do it. And, yeah. you know, we're, we're looking at expanding a clothing line. Um, our first T-shirt's out. It's funny. Um, we, we've got some uh, other shirts and ideas uh, that are all hot pepper The hats are great. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we, we're looking at, you know, branching off into different directions. And I'd say in the next five years, you'll see a clothing line from us. Um, you'll see- Beef, uh, jerky. That's, yeah, that's, you'll see, that's you'll on the see table. an ex wow. expanse of product line that goes in many different directions, spicy potato chips, pickles, whatever. Um, so you'll start to see a lot of that. And um, um, of course our wholesale business will, will continue to grow. Beautiful. Well guys, thank you so much for your time. You. Much appreciated. Thank you. My friends, you've heard it here right from the horse's mouth. Uh, in the video description, I will be sure to include both a link to their website. That way you can get anything you need to know on Captain Caliente and their products, as well as direction towards their social media. I, I'm on the Take TV. Care. I'm on the TV now. <laughs> I'm on the TV. I'm on the TV. Hey, thank you, guys. Take care, man. My friends, we'll catch you out there.